to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a Wi-Fi vault, part of my um, Web3 um, how-to series. And we're just going to jump right into it. I'm here at Wi-Fi uh, or yearn.finance. Um, this is the new UI and I've made videos on this before but I wanted to make sure that I made this new one because of the change in the user interface and we're going to comment a little bit on it. I think you guys can see here um, just visually very appealing but Yearn is DeFi made simple. Yearn puts your crypto assets to work so you don't have to. Uh, Vaults is like their main product and I, like I said I've made videos on this before but today I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use the DeFi Yearn Vault um, by depositing some Hedgic. Um, I've been you know, click here on yield, click on vaults. You jump into the vault, you can see all the different uh, projects and currencies and protocols that you're able to list. And Hedgic is part of their new version two vaults. I have some Hedgic here and I'm gonna just deposit it. It's very simple, um, show you guys exactly how that works. And I'll make some videos on Hedgic in the, in the future. Um, I, I kind of saw early on the announcement of the partnership between Yearn and Hedgic, which made me fall down the Hedgic sort of rabbit hole. I think Hedgic is a really great project. I think it has um, uh, a really unique value proposition. And um, essentially, I started buying some Hedgic. I am an investor in Hedgic and started staking Hedgic. But I want to go ahead and, and when you stake Hedgic, you, you earn Ethereum and wrapped to Bitcoin. But I want to put some Hedgic into a Yearn vault and just kind of experiment with that and see what that's like and, and grow my Hedgic holdings. And um, yeah, so once you're here, you just click on uh, the vault Hedgic. Oh, no, nope, sorry. Just click there. And uh, if you click on the token, you can see it takes you to the contract. That's really helpful. So you can see kind of what's been going on, uh, what the transactions are. You know, you can check the, uh, the, the contract code and see what you're interacting with, right? and check the source code for yourself. Very helpful. But you click on Hedgic and you can see I have 439 Hedgic available to deposit. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, let me see, move myself a little bit. This is my first time using this, so bear with me. With 439.25, approve. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that. Um, I've made videos in the past about, you know, MetaMask and how to set up your MetaMask. So you just approve your MetaMask. Um, hopefully that video will pop up so you guys can link to that if you need to set up MetaMask. Then you see me right here. I'm on my uh, hardware device. Um, and I'm going to go sign that transaction. This is just another uh, part of the security. I haven't made any videos about Ledger, which is the hardware wallet that I use, but you guys can expect that video coming uh, here very soon. Um, I'll go ahead and buy a new ledger and set it up live. Maybe not live, but actually I think I will do it live and let you guys see kind of what that's like and, and how um, ledger works. So prove that transaction on the ledger. And that failed. Okay. Okay, there you see. So right there, it says your transaction has started. And the reason I'm, I'm walking you guys through this is because because it's such new and like experimental technology, it's very frightening to jump into these user interfaces. And so if you can see someone doing this um, and see like the roadblocks that I run into and you can see, you know, exactly the experience I have in real time, I think that's extremely helpful and it builds confidence. So that's what I'm trying to do here. And we'll just let that um, transaction has gone through. So on the back end, what, what's happening is I am allowing the contract to interact with um, the tokens that I have in my wallet. So essentially I'm assigning my Hedgic tokens over to this contract. And that's a, a, um, that is an interaction that you have to approve with your wallet. You have to, have to actually sign that. And that took no time at all. Your transaction has succeeded. And so now that I have approved um, 
Oh my goodness. No, this isn't right, guys. This is, and this is the things that happen, right? Like, this is scary when people see this. They're like, what? Like, a fee of da 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 da. No, I'm sure this is wrong. Um, so, I'm going to exit that. As soon after I've approved the tokens to interact with the contract, now you have to do another transaction where you actually deposit the tokens into the wallet or into the contract. And it looks like they're really trying to charge ridiculous amount of fees. Okay, let's um, problem shoot this. Okay, guys, so we are back. I reached out to one of the Yearn devs uh, on Telegram to figure out what was going on, and he gave me a solution. So we're going to jump right back into it. And essentially what was happening is the contract was running into an error because I was putting in the maximum amount that I had available to withdraw and it was coming up with a calculation error. So he suggested that I put in just, you know, slightly less than what I actually have available. So let's say I'm going to put in mm, 435 and click deposit. There we go. Boom. So we can go ahead and confirm that. pull up my ledger and we wait and the transaction has gone through it's that simple we'll go ahead and click um, oh see yeah it's already updated for us so boom we are um, deposited so we have now deposited Hedrick into the urine vault so this will let us know how the vault is doing yeah, I'm still learning a lot, so I'm not entirely sure exactly what these mean, but maybe that's something I can uh, do some research into and get back to you guys about. But just wanted you guys to see exactly how easy it is to go ahead and deposit that into the Hedrick Vault. And I'll give you an update in a little while. Um, once I've seen how the, the growth of this works, you can just go in on your MetaMask 2 and go check that you have your stake Hedrick. Um, yeah, there's, there's plenty of ways you can go and, and just see and come back to the DAP and, and check the growth. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. Please like this video, subscribe to this video, and check out yearn.finance. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Look out for more of these type of tutorials. Peace.